Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's say that I wanted to join Team GR. What kind of deck would I make? Well, how about a dark deck? A very self-supporting dark deck. So I got the water energy, kind of like the opposite this time for, <laughs> for the Psyduck. Because everything else uses psych Psychic energy, including Dark Golduck. And uh, I can draw three cards that said Dark Golduck. Or Super Psy for 50. Very nice, I would say. Uh, Pound, Confuse Ray, Drowsy. Why do I got that Drowsy? Well, I got a Dark Hypno. It's got the 1 for 20, which is nice in general. You know that deal, y'all. And the Coined Flippers. Sure, sure. Well, well, that's only if they fill up the bench or something like that. Other than that, I'm going to be using... <laughs> The Psy Punch, so yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's a situational thing. And then for the Dark Support, we got GR's Mewtwo. I don't know if I'll really use it for attacking, attacking. Because, for one thing, I want to protect it so I can get the benefit of Dark Edge. The other thing is that I need a lot of Dark Pokemon in order to, <laughs> to really utilize that. So, it, I mean, I guess maybe I just need one Dark Pokemon to make it 2 for 40, but then I'd have to make GR's Mew too vulnerable, and yeah, it's just kind of, kind of something I'm not sure I want to do, especially with a 2 retreat cost, so. <laughs> Next thing I chose is Clefairy and Dark Clefable. I chose this one because I can swap and also cause Sleepy Sleepies, but the Darkness Veil is sort of like the Dark, uh, Dark Mew too. GR's Mew too in that I can cause a uh, random number of Defender, uh, so to speak, on my Pokémon, so that should be pretty nice, and Dark Song can potentially do a bunch of damage to bench Pokémon, as well as put the Pokémon to sleep as well, which is pretty dang nice. Uh, trainer cards, I got a lot of trainer cards this time, because it's kind of, kind of want to do some something a little bit different here. So I, I got the challenge instead of build, you know, otherwise use build, just to see if the AI will still react as is on this machine. Uh, Potion and Defender here are a thing, because Dark Pokémon typically have less HP. Sure, I have Dark Clefable, but I won't always have Dark Clefable, you know what I mean? So it's sort of that way in situations. And Potion and Defender, while do similar things, are kind of for different situations, like say an opponent's Pokémon does 60 HP of damage while your active Pokémon has 50 HP. Well, the potion's not going to help there, because you can't heal more than the maximum amount of HP your Pokémon has, so in that case you would use Defender, and vice versa if you have something that has higher HP and you want to heal the damage to, yeah, save them that way. Uh, I got Pokemon Recall to kind of recycle dark Pokemon in case I wanna, you know, kind of, kind of get the benefits, so to speak. You know, you know. Well, it's actually Pokemon Retransfer, so you take an evolution card, and since all the uh, po evolutions are dark Pokemon, voila, put it on top of the deck for the next turn. Uh, the boss's way to pull out dark Pokemon, as you know, that's kind of a staple for a dark deck, but, you know, I only have two. Why do I only have two? Well, because I might need Pokemon Trader for the basic Pokemon, or maybe GR's Mewtwo or something like that. So I thought I would have two and two. I uh, mean, you know, I could, I thought maybe I should have more boss's way in place of a potion or a defender or something like that, but I was like, eh. Let's keep it balanced, I suppose. Energy search for that water. You know how that goes. Or just for general energy in... Yeah, so... <laughs> the deck thinning itself. Professor Oak, energy removal. And that's about it. So, let's go ahead and see if we would be able to take over the island. So... <laughs> oh, gee, I'm be facing one of my own potential kin there in battle number four. But let's start out with Matthew... And he's going to be using the rock type of fighting, so I don't think we're going to be utilizing our psychic type, psychic of uh, sorts, so... Ooh, that's kind of kind of iffy. I mean, I do have Dark Goldock, so that's not as iffy, but still, it's not. <laughs> I need more basics here. Oh, there's GR's Mew 2. That's a nice start there now. So we're going to go... Probably, oh... 
Prevent trainer oh so we're gonna go dizziness. <laughs> I mean excuse me, not prevent trainer oh I'm gonna draw cards, that's right. <laughs> um, that's why I didn't like include a bunch of extra bills and stuff like that. I was just thinking of the other Psyduck with the headache. But yeah, because I got a bunch of draw power in the form of Psyduck and Dark Golduck. I figured that I could forego using the exploit of sorts. So now we're gonna plop that on there and go Dark Golduck. And we're gonna try to draw three cards, but I'm also gonna put Clefairy on there. Third eye. And it worked. Yeah, <laughs> we, we, there's no way we couldn't not to draw three cards. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, with that sort of draw power, even though you know it's one evolution, if I try and pull out the Dark Gold Duck, which I didn't have to in this case, that would be a pretty nice benefit, I would have to say. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and dump everything out here. And I guess I should probably try and get stuff going for that. I don't want to discard my stuff right away, because I can't evolve it right away, so... I'm just gonna hold off on this turn and not use the third eye, because I'll have to discard the energy and then... issues. <laughs> so, once I get Dark Clefable on the field to uh, do stuff, I'll also be able to prevent damage and stuff like that. Ooh, Potion is nice, but I might be a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit kind of unfortunate in that regard, because, yeah, whoops, what am I doing? <laughs> because of the, yeah, if I'm going to have to kind of Professor Oak and stuff like that. And you know what I should do? See if I can get Dark Clefable number two here. Hello. <laughs> so now I've really got the support on the field here. And Professor Oak the rest of the way, I suppose. Alas, the cards must go, for I need a water. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, if I had another GR's Mew 2, that would be kind of nice, but I don't even have something to trade. Well, wait, wait. Wait a second. Boss's Way. Get any dark Pokemon, it doesn't matter. Then trade it in for... <laughs> the GR's Mew 2. There we go. Oh, it shuffled right to the top. I'm near to the top. Please that on the... <laughs> and, oh yeah, that's right, the Leer. Okay, well... <laughs> and I guess I will energy removal of Diglett, because I don't think there's going to be much of a threat of anything else. So I got two GR Speed 2, two Dark Clefable. I would say my deck's working at full potential here. Oh man, it did not! <laughs> Are you kidding me? But the, my, my Dark Clefables, they both failed me. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that happening all the time, but still. Um, so, I'm definitely going to get something going on the side. Since I got so many darks, I guess I could actually use GR's Mew 2 now. And so, oh, I got the energy reversed. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> so I was thinking water for the water critter. Oh, Jesus. Arceus. Okay, so hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> my Dark, my dark Clefable will be a uh, savior there. Uh, that wasn't that much of a savior. <laughs> well, plop that on there. Yeah, that was just a total flub on my part. And maybe I can just knock out the Rhyhorn outright. Uh, I can't even do that. It's the randomness. That was just kind of a bust with uh, Dark Golduck then. Unless it gets saved by one of the effects. But nah, I didn't think so. And I'm going to plop that out there. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try this again here! <laughs> Dark power. 20 damage times the number of heads. Yeah, it's a coin flip thing, that's another iffy thing. But, well... Well, I got that one that I needed, so... <laughs> You'd think I would get one out of three, so... <laughs> um, I might be able to outright knock out that Charmander, assuming my flips go my way, perhaps, maybe? But for now, I think I'm gonna go... Probably Dark Clefable next. Also challenge, never gonna accept that, but... Just gonna, <laughs> just gonna see. Uh, probably should energy removal that, because I'm probably not gonna knock out the Charmander, knowing my coin flips. So we shall see... Oh, sure. After I use the energy removal. <laughs> of all the times! Alright, I... I I, I tried it for the best possibility, though, so you can't blame me, but now I'm never gonna get that again. <laughs> That's what I was saying, I wanted to leave 
GR's Mewtwo on the sideline because, yeah, I need a lot of dark Pokemon to really get the benefits of those coin flips to increase the chances of it working. Look at that, it's magical, they're working now. Just, just when I don't need it. Oh, come on! <laughs> it's just making a fool out of me! Making a fool out of me, so 60 damage for that. It's not quite the knockout, but that's still pretty nice overall. Remember, it's two energy for 60, so yeah. And the Leer was a failure. Ooh, um... Do I hit... Wait, I don't think I had a Dark Golduck in my deck when I searched through it, did I? I guess I could see here. So I could increase my coin flips. Uh, no. That's, that's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. But, I suppose what I could do for the future is get a Drowsy. So, I, I don't know if I'll actually need it, but just grab it for now, and Dark Power. I will at least get 20 damage out of that because of the uh, natural 20 damage via that, so yeah, it's just one coin flip too many, but you expect at least one coin flip out of three flips after all. But <laughs> so it would be nice to get two heads out of that, you know? So I guess the uh, other Dark Golduck was a prize card, or did I discard it? I don't remember. Hmm, hmm, I got that Dark Hypno. So that, that future planning worked out well. Anyway, 20 damage times the number of heads I win. Yeah. So coin flips worked for me this time. <laughs> kind of a awkward start, especially since I put the wrong energy cards on the poor Golduck there, but... <laughs> Hopefully we can do that again in the next game with Jonathan here. He's got Fire Critter, so that Psyduck Golduck will be pretty useful in that regard. Probably, I would think so. Uh, I got nothing, but we can reshuffle. And with the draw power, hopefully I'll be able to get that Dark Golduck for said draw power. Um, well, I could go straight in... No. I don't know. I don't know if I'll get the energy for Dark Clefable right away, so I think I'm gonna go for the Dark Hypno instead. And we flip. That's it's like the the, the dark the dark moves. Not not so much about the uh, you know not, just doesn't quite work for PK Gam, but it works for the opponents. It's always reducing damage by ten or twenty every turn. But no, no, not PK Gam. It's not not gonna happen that way. Um, I have zero energy somehow, but I don't want to dump my hand because I got the <laughs> all the evolutions that I need, so I'm going to use Defender and call it a turn. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I could Professor Oak to get that energy, but it's not going to be as beneficial as if I just evolved everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm going to go do that. And also, maybe I should grab that Dark Golduck as long as I'm able to, as long as it's in the deck. That would also work as well. There we go. Pop that in play. Energy removal that Charmander, Professor Oak. So that was a heck of a first, first two turns there. And now we can begin the side punching. Because... Kinda... Well, actually, I should probably looked at the rest of my hand, but... I was like, I just needed that energy to do my Psy Punch, but I'll, get, I'll look at my hand later, but that, yeah, that was my intention. Okay, Dark Clefable worked for me. Um, let's see, I should probably get another one on the field then, if I can. Uh, with the Dark Hypno, the... yeah, no, well, maybe I could get enough damage off of that. Um, and... <laughs> GR's Mewtwo would be pretty nice, by the way. Should I just try and go for that via Professor Oak? I probably should, but not not right now, because I got the Dark Clefable that I want to put in play, so I'm going to have to hold off on that until I can get more darkness established for the tryouts to impress Team GR. <laughs> there we go. And I guess... Press the rope down. <laughs> Might as well. The other energy is not really in play, nor is the, uh, oh man, I didn't get it. And nor is the uh, um, potion, so. Alright, let's side punch because it's guaranteed knockouts. 
Do not trust in those coin flips. Never trust the coin flips. <laughs> I'll try it on the next turn, really. I don't really think that's gonna be... Actually, wait, I think it's... How do I think about it? Hold on a sec, is it 20 times? 20 damage times? No yeah, it's... No yeah, this one isn't a coin flip. I think it's a think it dark... I mean, the GR is Mew 2 there. So that would knock out the uh, Charmander just fine. And it would also knock out the Growlithe. But anyway, this bench manipulation and... Oh wait, that... Oh, it is flip! Misread it. Ah, well, it's, at least it did the 20 damage. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I it was a uh, flipper. Flip. I'm that. Please put something on the bench, please. Thank you, thank you. I would very much appreciate that. Um, so, Dark Clefiel will probably fail me again. We shall see. Oh, it did not. Okay. <laughs> so, they both worked for me there. Um, I wonder if I should plop Defender on there anyway. Just the case, I guess. I don't I don't trust the randomness. Mention Lipulation Yes. Bad. <laughs> so that's gonna do another twenty, but I tried. <laughs> you can only try, I suppose. You know, to go for the knockout. Because chances are in that sort of situation I would be able to do twenty. So it's just like the side punch, but I just never trust the coin flips. Now I'm the side punch. <laughs> He's got another bench Pokemon, but still, I've gotten three tails before, and I could get him again. <laughs> and with that defender, ooh, nice. With that defender, that could be a uh, pretty delightful effect there. Oh, I should boss his way into Dark Hypno. Yay! <laughs> I don't really need the Clefairy. Because I already got both of my Clefables in the, on the field, so I think I'm going to plop that in, in play there. And go Dark Golduck, and... No. Side Punch. <laughs> just, just to be sure, I get something here. Hopefully I'll get put, a, put something on the bench so I can... Oh, I didn't even... Uh, go into the... Wait, I want to... Actually, I want to go Water. He didn't go into the... I mean, he didn't have any sort of energy card, so I don't really have to, you know. So anyway, like, oh, okay. Two heads, please. Can I get two heads? No. <laughs> Never get two heads. Ever. Would I need it? <laughs> and side punch for sure next turn, because I'm not going to risk the Dragonair situation. <laughs> Oops, that's one of energy search on energy removal. I was just looking for energy. Go psychic. Just kind of getting my deck thinned out for a future Professor Oak, I suppose? <laughs> uh, I'll put it on there, I guess. And I don't really think I can get as much benefit out of the energy removal as I could with the Professor Oak right now, so I'm just going to go do that, and... Oh, wait, wait, wait! <laughs> and he's not going to accept it. <laughs> That would be nice if he filled up his bench for the sake of the Dark Hypno, but anyway. That, that, I, I would say the AI had made a good decision. Because the Dark Hypno would kind of ravage the field then. Well, possibly. <laughs> uh, I wonder if I should go into, like, just end the game here. Just go into the Dark Hole talk. Because <laughs> I'm kind of messing around with coin flips I don't even have to at this point, so let's super sigh. And call it a game. Yeah, the... Wait, did you say... Oh, yeah, that was weakness. I was thinking psychic energy again. Oh, uh, jeez. Well, actually, last time I thought water energy, but... <laughs> it's kind of funny. I put two water energy, and that was both that I had in the deck. Huh. Anyway, Stephanie. Let's go, go. And shuffle oh, oh With lots of... Vigor, and maybe we can get... Nice. And maybe we can get a, another good start going here, and that did look like a good start to me. So we're gonna try and go for that gold duck if at all possible. Not gonna be playing trainer cards, but that is all right. Ooh, with that, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you think about it, this this go the side duck here. It's kind of in a nice position because I I can draw cards myself without actually using trainer cards, you know what I mean? 
Alright, so let's dizziness. And get that card. Well, no, no. <laughs> um, she might actually attack with Ghastly. Probably, and maybe. Well, uh, that's not gonna make much of a difference because I'm gonna evolve anyway. But, I'm not. I don't, really don't wanna attack now. <laughs> um. I guess I'll go for the challenge then. Because she'll never accept my challenge, and. Do I want. No, I don't think I'll need Defender, because I got the. I will use Energy Removal to offset her a little bit. But yeah, the energy is definitely going on there, but the potion I want to get the most of, so I'll wait until I take 10 more damage if I do. Well, wait until Psyduck takes 10 more damage, then evolve into Dark Golduck. And I was gonna say, and then win the game, but nah, it couldn't be that easy for me. It's never, never that easy for me. <laughs> and well, I, I should say that because the, as I said, my deck doesn't, my decks haven't really bricked very badly. So, and anyway, so yeah, I, I've, I've had luck in that regard, basically. I think I actually go leave that defender because I could still do that for now, and then Super Psy the Ghastly away, and then maybe the Abra, but the thing is, with the Abra, I don't know if I'm gonna get any sort of infinitely bad coin flips, because... <laughs> Wait, actually, no, 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 this isn't the Psy Shock Abra, that's right! So we absolutely win! <laughs> I will take it! I will take it! Because normally... Normally, I have to wait due to them stalling me out with coin flips, or me getting bad coin flips, or terrible draws, I'm just gonna win. Alright, my fellow GR member, I mean, I'll be future member, I'm gonna take you on, and hopefully win to impress you. Oh shoot. <laughs> Even bosses way won't help that much because I got the, uh, um, I don't have the basic Pokemon for the said evolutions. Well, well, that Tangela could take a while to beat my GR's Mewtwo, so we shall see. I can't attack on this turn anyway, because it takes two energy regardless. Oh, that's that might work out. Except my challenge for one. Stay! Because <laughs> then we gotta fill the bench with them. Alright, so ooh, um Okay. I'm gonna do something tricky here. Because I can use Boss's Way to grab whatever I want. So what if I do this? Trade Dark Hypno in for... Well, I should say, for any Dark Evolution card I want. So I'm going to trade Dark Hypno in for a Psyduck. And then use the Boss's Way to get Golduck. But I'm not going to show the AI that right away. And then I can power up GR's Mewtwo then. And I also got the uh, Energy Removal to use there as well. So you, know, <laughs> you, know, you gotta, gotta always keep that in mind. So, when I get Dark Golduck out there, I'll power up GR's Mewtwo, and... Oh, nice. Didn't get the Paralysis there, so... I will be able to thoroughly use its effect-ish. <laughs> Never gonna accept? Nah. So, yeah, it's just acting like Bill more than anything. Pop that in place. Boss's way, Dark Gold... Oh, I, oh geez, I hit right. <laughs> Didn't I hit... Yeah, that's what I did. <laughs> This, this sifty things. I don't. I don't normally do that because there's no benefit to doing that in the deck, per se. Because I'm searching through them gradually anyway. So just kind of tap through them. As, I don't know. I find it more fun that way. And potion and dark power. Yes. Yes. We got the most kind of. I mean, we don't have more dark Pokemon out uh, really, but maybe we'll be able to get some with uh, Professor Oak and the like. So. We shall see, and maybe, hopefully, I can get a sweep off of this. Maybe I'm gonna save that po. Well, actually, maybe I shouldn't, because I, I I would get more benefit out of Professor Oaking and potentially getting more dark Pokemon. Remember, this is a dark theme deck. Everything supports everything else. The fable can be happening now, and finish off the Tangela. It doesn't matter what the coin flip is. In fact, I want to save that heads coin flip for the future. So it was okay, I got tails. 
Uh, fill up the bench. That would be beneficial for a Dark Hypno. Uh, <laughs> let's put that on the Clefairy. Click there, Clefable for the support. No, maybe the GR's Mewtwo is better than I thought. I could actually use, uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go with Dark Power. Because, yeah, the. As, as long as I have support for GR's Mewtwo, I can just keep increasing its attack power as I build up. Wow, I actually. <laughs> actually got those coin flips the way I wanted them. But yeah, with the GR's Mewtwo out there, I can kind of just keep on doing his thing, and yeah. <laughs> I mean, if, if it's on the bench, it'll benefit other Dark Pokémon, but at the same time, other Dark Pokémon benefit it when it's in play, so... Yep. Anyway, two heads would be nice again, though I wouldn't count on it. Not any heads, it averaged out again. <laughs> I can only get it once. Once per video ever. <laughs> maybe, maybe not even once per video. I can get two heads when I want two heads out of two heads. It's 25% chance. I know it's low, but always seems like the the opponents they get that. <laughs> uh, I don't really think I even need to do anything, so I'm gonna zip on down to end my turn. Just fill up the other critters with energy cards, and well, and well, looking like infinite coin flip heads, ooh, GR's Mewtwo for backup, and that means I can do more damage with, well, potentially more damage with the other Darkers, but should I plop an energy on? No, I should go with Dark Golduck, because then I could do a sweep. In fact, I, I probably should just switch over to Dark Golduck at this point. Because I think I'll just be able to utter, utterly sweep the entire field, assuming I'll ever be able to. <laughs> I'll, I'll never be able to. <laughs> so yeah, so, just gotta, just gotta get through with the coin flips. Um, I don't think I'll use Defender because I don't think there's gonna be much of a threat of a knockout. So I call that a turn. Because chances are it's. He's not going oh, I was easy to switch. I was gonna say chances are he's not gonna get three more flips. But well you guess I guess that was a good move. <laughs> no, it was a good move actually. <laughs> uh Dark Golduck, and maybe I'll be able to get the extra power from the other GR's new too. Perhaps. Um maybe. Uh I think I'm actually gonna put the fender on that, because chances are Charmander's gonna come out. I mean, maybe it won't, because of double damage, water, but... Oh, okay, I got GR's Mewtwo benefit there. Okay, so it didn't happen. And that means I, the Defender didn't really uh, have much of a purpose, unless it, uh, I actually deterred him from putting out Charmander because of that. But, uh, oh, wait, wait, then, maybe. <laughs> Energy removal, that Charmander, and Super Psy. Let's a go go. Sweepo Timo. <laughs> and remember, I can also draw cards with uh, Dark Golduck as well, should I need them, instead of attacking. Well, I guess technically that is an attack, but I mean, you know, doing damage with an attack. Um. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do that. <laughs> Put that on the bench, and the Super Psy! Sweepo Sweepo! Woo! <laughs> I was actually hoping that I would get more Sweepo Sweepos out of other critters, like said GR's Mewtwo, if I had to play it, but. Well, you know, coin flips! <laughs> coin flips are never, ever my friend. I just bumped the box, that's what you heard there. <laughs> I have a box that has the, the camera on it, so it's closer to where my face is. <laughs> And yeah, just kind of low budget as usual, as I'm always about the conservation of the moolahs. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I win. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works, right? Why, why get a tripod when you just set it on something? <laughs> and finale. Well, I do have that uh, gorilla pod. Oh, it's a GRX deck. Uh, I do have that Gorillapod for attaching my camera to various things whenever I need to, but that's, you know, it's it's only when I really need to use something to attach it to, basically. And, yeah. Anyway! 
<laughs> We're gonna get a basic Pokemon. Eventually. Eventually. And... And... Hmm... Why did I even click that? I don't... Uh... I think I'm gonna actually go with Psyduck so I can... Do the draws. But yeah, I don't typically buy something unless I actually need it, basically. I'm not one of those impulsive spenders, is what I mean. <laughs> I got Dark Golduck right away, that's pretty nice. I was thinking I would do that with the boss's way, but... Well, we'll need that. <laughs> so, anyway. We shall see if... Actually, mm, should I just... Should I straight out evolve to stop the poison? Or should I hope for... Getting a potion with the Professor Oak? <laughs> Because that Grimer could do a lot with sticky hands. And I don't want to lose the Dark Golduck opportunity. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Put it in play. And also water on that. Um, mm, should I go for the Professor to see if I can get a potion? Or should I retreat? No, I probably shouldn't retreat. And I don't want to... Well, actually, maybe I should draw cards, because I do have the other Dark Golduck in hand, and I can maybe get that going on the side. So, yeah. <laughs> I'll try that and focus on another Dark Golduck instead, because I can draw six cards by the time he'll be able to knock out the uh, Dark Golduck. So, uh, yeah, even with Dark Mock. So... You do that, and I'll do my thing. How does that sound? I think that sounds pretty good for me. <laughs> so yeah, I don't even think I'll have to... Professor Oak in general, because I'm going to be drawing so many cards for a good while. And... Actually, wait a second. I still won't have my Psyduck. That could be a problem! <laughs> um, I can't boss his way into that Psyduck, so let's just third eye. Maybe we can get that side duck. Psychic, Clefairy, Psychic, no. <laughs> I mean, I don't necessarily need the Dark Golduck, I guess, but... It's just a thing that I was hoping to get something going. Nope. At least not right now. <laughs> uh, that Dark Muck is double damage weak to Psychic, so that's actually pretty nice. That I can put in the Drowsy. I mean, that I have a Psychic deck, excuse me. Not put in the Drowsy, but... So yeah, obviously, the thing about that is kind of, kind of didn't want to lose the gold duck, but at the same time, it's, if I'm putting it out, I'll be able to do double damage. So it's kind of like a one for two dealio. I thought I was going for Confuse Ray because of the sake of preventing Dark Muck from doing retreats and stuff like that. But eh, eh. anyway, I should probably now wipe out those. And still don't really have. I guess I could go for the Dark Clefable. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Alright. <laughs> and Confuser again. Probably never gonna get heads. Nah, but that Dark Muck's not gonna retreat anyway. So let's get those tails out of the way. <laughs> Although it doesn't mean my future flips aren't gonna be tails, so. Uh, put that in play, and Confuse Ray... Oh, sure, look at that. <laughs> when it doesn't matter, I get the heads. Actually, technically, it didn't matter if I got the heads any other time, because it didn't look like that he was going to be causing any sort of uh, damage to my Drowsy anyway, so, yeah. Or doing any retreats, for that matter. And a little Nick there. Little Grimer there, and the turn is a done there. So yeah, what that happened was there was a sneak attack. Yeah, when, it, when it's put in play, it does 10 damage. But not really that big of a deal, per se. Uh, should I just... Should I just Professor Oak and just forget about the, the Dark Gold Duck at this point? I think I should. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's one of my main attackers, but if I could get something else, that would be pretty nice. Uh, Gier's Mewtwo is a good start, and I still would have been Psyduckless, as you've seen there. There we go, Dark Hypno is what I was looking for. And... I'm also thinking... I should get another Gier's Mewtwo if I can with Traitor, but I didn't really have the 
at least at the time, to do that, and I also used the energy card, so... So I punched! <laughs> Let's take on that Dark Gold Duck, I mean, <laughs> Dark Gold Bat, and with that GR's Mewtwo would increase the damage, and it double damage, it was pretty nice. <laughs> I still might actually be able to knock out that Meowth, despite its... It not having the same weakness dealio as another Pokemon trader, but that's not what exactly what I need there. Uh, again, it makes me wonder if I should just Professor Oak again. <laughs> well, well, let's see if I can get some. Oh, that's right. Well, and I can't even a Psy Punch here. Well, I can, but I mean, Meowth has got Psychic Resistance. Uh, oh, that oh, that helped a little bit because of the. GR's Mewtwo, I see, I forgot that it could do 20, or at least I, I should say I wouldn't count that I would get 20. <laughs> um, yeah, now it really makes me wonder if I should go for the GR's Mewtwo. Yep. And, yep. And, I guess... Actually, no. <laughs> I'll energy surge into a Psychic. Now I can play something like that, and try it again? <laughs> Maybe I can get two 20s from the Mewtwo's, or get absolutely nothing. <laughs> Actually, maybe I got 10 out of that, because it could still uh, resist up to 30, so... Eh, I tried. Psychic on GR's Mewtwo number 2. Psy Punch! <laughs> Let's see who we get! 10. That's decent, I guess. More than I could expect with my horrendous luck. <laughs> and turn over. GR Mewtwo attach. Um. Hmm. I guess I punched. <laughs> I was thinking if I should Professor Oak to get energy removal for the Dark Muck impending that's gonna threaten the Dark Hypno, but. Maybe I won't, because I got the double damage dealio. So. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And. Come on, GR's Mewtwo, number one. Come on, GR's Mewtwo, number two. Thank you. <laughs> and there's the Dark Muck, so he is gonna go for the poisony po. Oh no, not going for that one. So he's just gonna go for the Clefairy, probably because it can do. A knockout relatively easy to the Clefairy, but that's not really that big of a deal per se to me, because I got other other methods going on here. Oh wait, did I just Yeah, that's right. That's fine, that's fine. <laughs> uh, I thought I thought I gave it too much energy for a second there, but anyway, I'll go for swinging fingers. And give it a little nappy poo. And also do a little damagey do. For kind of doesn't really help that much, because I still, still need a Psychic Pokémon in general. And yeah, so either way, Clefairy is KO'd. I wasn't going to retreat it uh, due to that extra damage, I mean extra retreat cost dealio anyway. It's like, why why do that when I can swing my fingers? <laughs> and Dark Hypno, let's go. So... Well, I only have one Dark Pokémon, that means I probably won't get the coin flip for it. I'm thinking I'm going to Psy Punch and hope one of the GR Mewtwo's give me one... one damage counter of extra, okay. <laughs> Just never know with that. And of course, he's got another Meowth. And Rattata the boot. But, uh, now this is one of those sorts of situations where I wish that I had my Dark Gold Duck, but... What can you do? Other than challenge him. And he does not accept, of course. I might be able to do a bunch of damage with uh, GR's Mewtwo to the Meowth. Possibly in the future, maybe. Assuming I can get other Dark Critters going. For now, I'll just put Drowsy on there and Psy Punch. Come on, GR's Mewtwo. Increase that power! Oh. <laughs> if it's randomized, it's not going to work for me. And I don't know why you're doing trickery, unless you're feeling a little worried about what's going on here. Psy Punch. <laughs> and... Again! <laughs> Two GRs Mewtwo! With potentially stacking effects. No! It's not gonna... not gonna help. <laughs> going for the drowsy, that's alright. 
Um... Wait, what if I went... Traded this Drowsy in for Dark Hypno. Evolve that to increase GR Mewtwo's power. Maybe. <laughs> uh... No, that, that I'd still have to get really lucky on the coin flips because I still don't have one more dark Pokemon. Uh, well, wait a second. No, 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 no. I'll get three coin flips out of that. Not that I'll get the coin flips out of that, but yeah. Um, I think that was the wise move. And dark power. Okay, we got some damage to Meowth. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> that was the absolute best possible scenario. I I didn't have faith in you, GR's Mewtwo. I'm sorry. I, sh I should have believed in you. Maybe that's all. All that I needed to do this whole time. I needed to believe. Believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> And yeah, it just seemed like nothing was ever coming my way. Luck-wise. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. I believe in you. I believe it! I believe! Yeah! <laughs> That's actually still okay. I mean, I, I couldn't expect to get all three coin flips again. I just needed to get something to offset that uh, damage prevention of the resistance, basically, and now I only need one coin flip out of three to win the game, so that should do. I'm not going to use challenges, I only have six cards left in the deck, but I'm pretty sure I'm just going to get a heads anyway out of this, yeah. Only a 12.5% chance that I would not get at least one heads out of that, so that seemed to be a near guarantee thing, and I believed! I believed in the art of the cards. <laughs> <laughs> and now, our streak increases, so maybe by getting our streak up there, I will impress Team GR and be able to join them. What do you think? He thinks I'm weird for trying to join them, doesn't he? Well, anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I get my tryout certificates for a success or something like that. Maybe. Maybe.